dear students now we are going to discuss geostationary and non geostationary orbits in detail let's start with geostationary orbit it is the orbit in which a satellite orbits the earth at exactly same speed as earth in eastward direction that means the satellite appears to be stationary with respect to earth because both are rotating with the same speed in the same direction okay so here we can make sure that the geostationary orbit is equivalent to or same as that of equatorial plane here i is equal to 0 i means inclination angle between equatorial plane and satellite orbital plane so here both are in the same plane hence here i is equal to 0 for geostationary orbit do you all understand this point since it appears as stationary it is called as geostationary orbit okay so there are certain conditions for this geostationary orbit the first one is satellite orbits the earth eastward at exactly the same rotational speed as earth hence it looks like a stationary one okay here the inclination of the orbit must be zero okay i is equal to 0 degree here we can assume that the orbit must be circular one okay so the next we are going to analyze the radius and height of the geostationary orbit so here we can consider the hepler's third law so according to the hepler's third law the radius of the geostationary orbit a g s o here g s o means geostationary orbit a represents the radius that is equal to mu p by 4 pi squared the whole power 1 by 3 so here p is nothing but the period for the geostationary orbit its value is 23 hours 56 minutes 4 seconds mean solar time so here mu value is 3.986005 in 10 to the power 14 meter cube per second square so we are going to substitute those values in this equation to get the radius of the geostationary orbit okay after substituting the values of p and mu in the hebler's third law we can get the radius of the geostationary orbit as 42164 km so this is the radius of the geostationary orbit okay so next we are going to find out the height of the geostationary orbit for that we can consider the equatorial radius of the earth so its value is 6378 km so next we are going to get the height of the geostationary orbit for that we can subtract this equatorial radius of the earth from the radius of the geostationary orbit then we can get only the height of the orbit from the earth so here we can get the geostationary height by subtracting the equatorial radius of the earth from the geostationary radius okay so here 42164 minus 6378 its value is 35786 km you can approximate this value as 36000 km so we can simply round off this value so here we can conclude that the geostationary satellites are located around 36000 km from the earth okay so this is the height of the geostationary orbit examples for the geostationary satellites are india's insat series united states goes simply goes okay so major applications of geostationary satellites are given here it is mainly used for communication disaster management climate control meteorological operation dth etc okay next one is geosynchronous orbit So here it is an orbit in which the satellite is synchronized with the earth's rotation that means the satellite orbits the earth 
at exactly the same speed as that of the earth. But there is one change. The orbit is tilted with respect to the equatorial plane of the earth. Here in geostationary, the inclination angle is zero. Correct? Because the equatorial plane and the geostationary orbit both are in the same plane. But for this geosynchronous, there is a tilt with respect to equatorial plane. So here I is not equal to zero. There is some value. Do you all understand this concept? So this is the diagrammatic representation. This one is geostationary. This one is geosynchronous. So there is a change in latitude, not in longitude. Do you all understand this one? So geosynchronous satellites wander up and down in latitude and not in longitude. Okay. So next one is non-geostationary orbit, simply NGSO. So it represents the low range of orbital positions. Example, Leo and Mio. Leo means low earth orbit. So its range is 700 km to 1500 km from the earth. Mio means medium earth orbit. So here it is around 10,000 km from the earth. Okay. So in general, the non-geostationary satellites are located in the low range of orbital positions and these satellites do not maintain a stationary position. It can move in relation to the earth surface. Okay, so example for non-geostationary orbit is Iridium, Global Star, etc. Okay, so applications are communications, earth observations, logistics.